Milk and Milk Alternatives Not too long ago, the only thing you could expect to drown your cereal in was whole cow's milk. Now, cow's milk comes in all sorts of varieties. Whole milk, 2%, 1%, skim, fat-free, and even lactose-free milk. For people with dietary or allergy concerns, there are also alternatives to cow's milk. Almond, soy, rice, and coconut milk are popular plant-based milk alternatives. They're becoming even more available in stores across the United States. There are other cow's milk alternatives like goat milk or oat milk that may be another good choice for some people. Each type of milk has its advantages and disadvantages, depending on a person's diet, health, nutritional needs, or personal taste preferences. For example, some people may be intolerant to dairy milk and may need to choose a plant-based alternative. Alternatively, those who may need to boost their calorie and nutrient intake may opt for whole milk, which is a concentrated source of protein, fat, and calories. However, milks such as whole dairy milk and full-fat coconut milk are rich in fat and calories, which should be taken into account if you're looking for a lower-calorie beverage. Whole cow's milk contains more calories and saturated fat than any other milk, aside from goat's milk. Look at the differences in these popular types of milks to determine which best suits your needs. With all varieties, choose the unsweetened versions. Milk and milk alternatives can double their amount of sugar if they're sweetened with added sugars. Nutrition comparison per 8 fluid ounces. Cow's milk. Whole milk has the highest fat content of all types of milk. One cup contains about 150 calories, 12 grams of carbohydrates in the form of lactose, 8 grams of fat, 8 grams of protein. None of the milk's natural components are removed. As you can see, whole milk is high in natural proteins, fat, and calcium. Milk sold in the United States is usually fortified with vitamin A and vitamin D, as well. Other cow's milk has the same amount of carbohydrates and protein, with some or all of the fat removed. While whole milk has 150 calories in one cup, 1% milk has 110 calories, and skim milk has just 80 calories. Fat-free milk is significantly lower in calories than whole milk. However, the removal of fat decreases the amount of certain nutrients in the milk, including vitamins E and K. Lactose-free milk is processed to break down lactose, a natural sugar found in milk products. Lactose-free milk is also a good source of protein, calcium, vitamins, and minerals. The total and saturated fat contents of lactose-free milk vary, as it comes in 2%, 1%, and fat-free varieties. Pros of cow's milk. 1. Whole milk can provide essential proteins, extra calories from fats, as well as vitamins and minerals. 2. Lactose-free versions are available for people who have a lactose intolerance. 3. Cow's milk, including grass-fed and low-heat pasteurized options, is widely available in grocery stores and convenience stores. Cons of cow's milk. 1. Whole milk is high in calories and fat. 2. Many people are intolerant to lactose, a sugar found in milk. 3. Some people have ethical concerns about modern dairy farming practices. Almond milk. Almond milk is made from ground almonds and filtered water. It may also contain starches and thickeners to improve its consistency and shelf life. People who are allergic to almonds or nuts should avoid almond milk. Almond milk is typically lower in calories than other milks, as long as it's unsweetened. It's also free of saturated fat and is naturally lactose-free. Per cup, unsweetened almond milk has about 30 to 60 calories, 1 gram of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fat, 1 gram of protein. Even though almonds are a good source of protein, almond milk is not. Almond milk is also not a good source of calcium. However, many brands of almond milk are supplemented with calcium, vitamin A, and vitamin D. Pros of almond milk. 1. It's low in calories. 2. It's typically fortified to be a good source of calcium, vitamin A, and vitamin D. 3. It's vegan and naturally lactose-free. Cons of almond milk. 1. It's not a good source of protein. 2. It may contain carrageenan, which may cause digestive issues in some people. 3. There are some environmental concerns about the amount of water used to cultivate almonds. Soy milk. Soy milk is made from soybeans and filtered water. Like other plant-based milk alternatives, it may contain thickeners to improve consistency and shelf life. One cup of unsweetened soy milk has about 80 to 100 calories, 4 grams of carbohydrates, 4 grams of fat, 
7 grams of protein. Because it comes from plants, soy milk is naturally free of cholesterol and low in saturated fat. It also contains no lactose. Soybeans and soy milk are a good source of protein, calcium, and potassium. Pros of soy milk. 1. It's a good source of potassium and can be fortified with vitamins A, B12, and D, as well as calcium. 2. It contains as much protein as cow's milk, yet is lower in calories than whole milk and about equal to the calories in 1% or 2% milk. 3. It contains very little saturated fat. Cons of soy milk. 1. Soy is a common allergen for both adults and children. 2. Most of the soy produced in the United States comes from genetically modified plants, which is a concern to some. Rice milk. Rice milk is made from milled rice and water. As with other alternative milks, it frequently contains additives to improve consistency and shelf stability. It's the least likely of all milk products to cause allergies. That makes it a good choice for people with lactose intolerance or allergies to milk, soy, or nuts. Rice milk contains the most carbohydrates per cup, providing about 120 calories, 22 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fat, little protein, less than 1 gram. While rice milk can be fortified with calcium and vitamin D, it's not a natural source of either, just like soy and almond milk. Rice has also been shown to have higher levels of inorganic arsenic. The Food and Drug Administration FDA, recommends not relying solely on rice and rice products, especially for infants, children, and pregnant women. The American Academy of Pediatrics takes a similar stance, suggesting to focus on a variety of foods and to avoid depending on just rice or rice products. Pros of rice milk. 1. It's the least allergenic of milk alternatives. 2. It can be fortified to be a good source of calcium, vitamin A, and vitamin D. 3. Rice milk is naturally sweeter than other milk alternatives. Cons of rice milk. 1. It's high in carbohydrates, so it's the least desirable choice for people with diabetes. 2. It's not a good source of protein. 3. Eating too much of a rice product may pose a health risk for infants and children due to inorganic arsenic levels. Coconut milk. Coconut milk is made from filtered water and coconut cream, which is made from grated mature coconut flesh, in spite of its name, coconut isn't actually a nut, so people with nut allergies should be able to have it safely. Coconut milk is more accurately referred to as coconut milk beverage, because it's a more diluted product than the type of coconut milk used in cooking, which usually is sold in cans. As with other plant-based milk alternatives, coconut milk often contains added thickeners and other ingredients. Coconut milk contains more fat than the other milk alternatives. Each cup of unsweetened coconut milk beverage contains about 50 calories, 2 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of fat, 0 grams of protein. Coconut milk beverage doesn't naturally contain calcium, vitamin A, or vitamin D. However, it can be fortified with these nutrients. Pros of coconut milk. 1. Coconut milk is safe for most people with nut allergies. 2. It can be fortified to be a good source of calcium, vitamin A, and vitamin D. Cons of coconut milk. 1. It's not a good source of protein. 2. It may contain carrageenan, which may cause digestive issues in some people. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like our video and leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel until you receive a notification for each new video.